guys welcome back to my channel my name is banana and today we're going to just do a natural not so natural makeup tutorial and i'm going to be using this foundation from Revlon for the first time it's the insta filter i bought it this weekend so i was like you know what let me try it when can so it's going to be like the first impressions of some sort and we're just going to go straight into it but i don't want my lips oh my goodness I don't want my lips to appear dry in cam. So I'm applying this um, lippy from Essence. Brows, we're gonna start off with the brows. The brow pencil that I like using is the Essence 02 and then the Essence 01. And then the mirror that I'm using is a mirror from Pip and it is 60 rings. <laughs> So I like to first draw a line and then fill in the brow. Then draw another line. And then fill in the brow. I like to bring the brow thingy a bit higher and then when I do clean it out then it will look much nicer. I don't know. That's how I've been doing the brows. I need to sharpen the pencil a bit. And then in the outer parts I like to take 01, the black one from Essence, and then go in the outer areas. Once that is done, I like to comb using the Yagi, um, the waterproof mascara. It just mixes everything up together. Then once that is done, I like to take in my concealer from LA Girl and then clean out the brow area. I only do the part underneath the brow and then to make sure that I don't have any harsh lines I like taking a beauty sponge and then just blending everything in good. Okay. Then you're gonna go in with the face, and then I like using that Pond's BB cream. And using the Essence It Better Work. Um, it's a June Proof Primer. I really like this primer. It's been my go to primer for a while. The areas that I like to focus on when I do pond is my nose, mostly underneath my eye area because that's where I have the most creasing. That's my line area. Not a lot in the forehead, you know, just a bit, but over here. Okay. And then I'm gonna color correct using the LA Girl Pro Continuo Orange. <laughs> Once that is done, I'm going to take the Insta Filter Foundation by Revlon, the Blu-ray, and then um, it comes with a sponge. I think it's a bit hot, but I don't know. So, what I've seen on Instagram is people were doing this, and then product would come out. I'm not sure. I don't know. I see some product now. So, this is cappuccino. I'm not sure if product is coming out. I'm not a fan of 
I'm not a fan of the sponges, but I'm just gonna go ahead and just use the sponge and give the product the benefit of the doubt. You know what? When I got there, I thought that I was shade caramel. However, nope, I'm not. <sighs> That's why it's really important to shade test. Don't think I'm really foundation when you're caramel you always be caramel. It doesn't work like that. I'm just gonna spray some water on this just to see what it does because it's just taking so long to blend. My baby's waking up. She took a nap. Okay, no. I'm just gonna blend everything in. Sponge. Blending everything in. And I'm glad I took cappuccino because it looks really good on my skin. But this foundation it looks really good. It looks nice. Like it has a full coverage. But what are they saying? They don't say if it's full coverage or it's but I think it's full coverage because it, it has covered everything I'm just gonna take a little and then just dab it in it is lightweight guys if you hear some music um my neighbor opposite me best day he's a he has a car wash so yeah we have some background music going on that's why I always film voiceovers because they're much more better because when I film besides play I'm gonna conceal I'm actually liking this Essence Matte Polish um, Compact Powder, shade 70 Espresso, and I've been using it a lot lately to contour. So I'm just gonna go in and contour. So when you contour, you want to have, you know, snatch at the places where you feel like. After you've snatched them in, you'll look more slimmer. Can you hear the background music, guys? Courtesy of our neighbor. Just want to blend everything in using a sponge. I don't add any more products, I just blend using a sponge. And with setting everything under my concealer and everything else, I'm just gonna go in with the um, Pro Artist HD Finishing Powder. It is from Jet. It's like 100 and something, 120 similar to the banana powder I like it and I just like to sweep it up you know I don't like to apply a lot but once it's set it's set it gives you a nice airbrush effect once that is done I'm gonna go in with the essence the you must go on this brown shade because it is my go-to shade when it comes to
gonna I'm gonna take the same brow and then I'm gonna do my bottom layer. I'm gonna take that Avon True Ultra Volume Mascara just to move it. I'm gonna go in with the A1 um, color trend. I'm just gonna um, tighten mine. Then I'm gonna go in with the lashes, then the one with seven texture lashes from I Love. Um, and then on my lips, I'm gonna go in top to highlight. I'm gonna highlight using the, this palette. I'm not gonna wear any brush. Just gonna wear this one. On my lips, I'm gonna wear the intense the mood, the intense um, nude lipstick. This is the shade Wink. I'm just gonna wing it and I'm not gonna wing it. Like that. Then I'm gonna set everything up using the essence um, and spell that. the noise level ruin my whole tutorial i'm just gonna say thank you so much for joining me this is the final look um hopefully you do try it if you do tell me uh, tag me on social media thank you so much for all the love so far i will see you soon please don't forget to enter my giveaway okay um the link will be in the description box i'll see you soon goodbye